Oh, we just love how they look on and off the court. And this right here is a beautiful sight. This is the San Andres Sports Complex in Manila as we present to you our featured match for the day here in Season 99 of the NCAA New Heroes of the Game. It will be the Mapua Lady Cardinals taking on the San Sebastian Lady Stags, two teams that are looking to kick off this brand new tournament on a high note. Once again, maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. We are being seen on GTV and we also have live streaming on gmanetwork.com and on the NCA Philippines website via YouTube and Facebook. And for all of the updates, highlights, and results, do follow GMA Sports PH on Facebook and on X. Mabuhay Pilipinas and good day. My name is Anton Rojas and it is an honor to re-welcome to our broadcast panel Napakaganda ng resume nitong katabi ko. So she is a four-time champion with the DLSU Lady Spikers, a six-time champion in the professional ranks, and new member of the Sparkle team. So she is a Sparkle GMA artist. Let's welcome Melissa Gohing Nasino. Thank you so much for that wonderful introduction, Anton. I'm so happy to be, to be back here in the NCAA. And you know, after giving birth, I'm just so happy to see all the volleyball action. And ayun, kakastart pa lang ng NCAA Season 99. That's not as na lang kung kailan ako naglaro. <laughs> but I'm so happy how volleyball grew, Anton. And, and you know that. Yes, and uh, seeing how you have grown as well from covering you and now working with you again. Yes. Because this is not the first time that Ate Mel is, uh, or Mommy Mel now, <laughs> has covered the NCAA. It's great to have you back. And uh, of course, let's also welcome back to our broadcast team, Stephanie Benito, who will be telling us all the stories from both sides, Mapua and San Sebastian at courtside. There she is. She is ready to go, and we are ready to go as well. So, Mel, since this is, you know, the first day, first match for San Sebastian and Mapua, as usual, pag-uusapan natin itong tournament format. Yes. So, this format is a single round robin. So, every game is do or die for both teams. So, top four teams advance to the final four. So, it's going to be one versus four and two versus three. So, the higher seeds earn twice to beat advantage. So, para dun sa mga sa, to, sa number four and number three, they need to win twice. Yep. And for the finals, best of three series. So the first team who's gonna win two games, yun ang magiging champion natin for this NCAA Season 99. And yung LM sweep naman, outright finals berth, knockout step ladder ito. Kaya, nako, for all of the teams, kailangan manalo sila. And as much as possible, they need to be in the final four. At dito sa NCAA, Uso, yung elimination round sweep yes. because we have the Benil Lady Blazers yes. who have swept the elimination round in the past two seasons. They are trying to establish a dynasty which you were once a part of back in your playing days with the Lady Spikers and also in the pros. But and I'm adding, so excited. Yes. And adding to that, Gabby, your expectation from Mike ago na ba, bumalik yeah. this season, our former finals MVP. So very exciting talaga itong season na ito, Anton. And I'm so excited for the matchup that we are about to showcase to you guys, Mapua and San Sebastian. To me personally, Melissa, Mapua is one of the most exciting teams yes. in the league. Last season, they made it to the Final Four for the very first time. But if there are some NCA historians here who know more than we do, because if you search online, may kita po ninyo, hindi pa talaga umaabot ng Final Four itong Mapua Women's Volleyball. If they did, please let us know. Yes. But the reason why we're so excited is because a lot of promising players are coming back for their second and third seasons. Yes, like 
They're, they're, they're super rookie last season na si Roxy De La Cruz. Itong rookie na to, grabe. Grabe talaga siya yung confidence. Eh. Parang hindi nga, yung sinasabi nila, parang hindi siya rookie. Pag naglalaro, you have Aliana Ong. They're um, very, um, very great libero mm-hmm. na sobrang importante yung defense. Vanna Basbas and Trixie Gohol. And their only key loss is Gwen Espiritu. So, you expect this team, and di ba, alam natin na lahat na first time nila mag top 4 last season. So, grabe yung expectation nito. Let's see if uh, makaka final four ulit sila kasi first time nila ever right in yeah. history last season and of course when you achieve that you want to take yes. it a step further in the succeeding seasons yes like, like, like what they always say na it's harder nga daw if you reach you know the top four kasi yung expectation is top three top <laughs> two or champion and also going back to what you mentioned about the super rookie when you're a rookie and you already have a nickname yes napakalaking bagay nun. Super Roxy De La Cruz. Yes. She was number five in the league in scoring. Now, San Sebastian, this is the winningest team in NCAA women's volleyball history. A total of 23 titles. Of course, we all know about the legendary coach Roger Goreb. But the past couple of years has been a head-scratcher, a mystery, because they have struggled to get back to where they were accustomed to being during those glory days. Yes, you can see naman that their lineup. Um, is reliable. They have great players. But then, kulang lang talaga ng panapos yung team na ito. Is, and more of maturity. And you'll see they have two great outside spikers na si Kat Santos and KJ Jonisho. And of course, Tina Marasigan. And their key losses are Vea Season and Jewel Bermilio. So, konti lang, konti lang naba- nabawasan. And meron silang um, good rookie daw na si Garcia. So, um, I'm looking forward to see how Garcia will play this game. All right, let's turn it over to our arena announcer para makilala ang mga starters. Magandang umaga mga kapuso mula sa San Andres Sports Complex, Manila. Ito po ang inyong NCAA Season 99, New Heroes of the Game. Mapapanood sa GTV Worldwide sa pamamagitan ng GMA Pinoy TV at GMA News TV International at my live streaming pa sa gmanetwork.com, NCA Philippines website, YouTube at Facebook with NCA updates, highlights and results on GMA Integrated News. Presenting our officials for this match. Our first referee is Eli Desus. Second referee is Jinyel Mercado. And now introducing our protagonist first, the Mapua University Lady Cardinals. And their opponents, the San Sebastian College Recoletos Lady Stags. And now introducing the starting six first for the Mapua Lady Cardinals. Opposite spiker number two, Raisa Ricablanca. Outside hitter number four, Freyan Garcia. Middle blocker number seven, Bob Svapiera. Setter number eight, Trixie Gohol. Outside hitter number nine, Roxy De La Cruz. Middle blocker number 11, Yana Ong. And our starting libero is number 20, Vana Basbas. The head coach of the Lady Cardinals is Ayin Esteban. And now the starting 6 for the San Sebastian College, Lady Stags. Outside hitter number 1, Kat Santos. Middle blocker number 2, KJ Jonisho. Outside hitter number four, Tina Marasigan. 
Middle blocker is her team captain number 10, Amakatan. Opposite spiker number 12, Juna Gonzalez. Setter number 13, Von Dimakulangan. And their starting libero is number 9, Chloe Lazarte. The head coach of the Lady Stags is Roger Gorayev. You are looking at the starters for both Mapua and San Sebastian. So we have several rookies in the starting units for both squads. Para sa San Sebastian, Jurame Gonzalez, a rookie opposite spiker, is starting. She's wearing jersey number 12 for the Lady Stags. And Von Dimakulangan. When we hear that Dimakulangan yes. name, we all know about the legendary Rhea Dimakulangan. She's also a setter. We'll try to find out if she is related to Rhea Dimakulangan. And then over on the other side, dalawang rookies, Freya Garcia, who's an outside spiker, and Raisa Janelle Rica Blanca, playing the opposite position. Sila po ang mga rookies para sa Mapua. Rixi Gohol, who has been the starting setter for Mapua since last season, will start this rally. Dimakulangan setting it up to Kat Santos, who I'm expecting to have a bounce back season. Wow, you will expect a lot from a lefty spider at God. Ang hirap i block yan. Kita natin dito, nabigyan agad itong bagong rookie ng Mapua, si Raisa Janelle Rica Blanca. And I like that na na-activate agad yung yes. rookie. Yes! Marasiga going up for the spike and Mapua is looking good. Solid blocking at the net. Yes, and during season 97, Anton, when they were up against each other, makikita mo na mas matangkad ang ang lady stack sa Mapua. But now, you will see their lineup. Parang tumatangkad na rin yung lineup ng Mapua. Lady Cardinals. And this is also a very young team. Their yes. core is mostly sophomores and juniors. And now, San Sebastian giving Mapua a taste of their own medicine with that block. And the first step is always the warm-up of both teams. So, kung sino yung maganda yung pan panimula, pero kung sino din yung maganda yung panapos. So we'll see with this game. Dimakulangan. Here's the toss. And a good check out there by Garcia. And you will see that si Garcia is um, a rookie, right? Yes. And pero magulang na yung mga galaw niya, <laughs> mga drop balls sa block na palabas, yung mga gulang ano eh, moves eh. Mapua has seven rookies or additions if we're going to include the reserve players. So even though maraming mga holdovers, they also have a lot of new additions. Amakatan, the new team captain, scoring on that quick attack. That was over the block. Medyo nalik yung block ng Mapua there. And Amakatan brought the ball sa likod, sa corner. Kaya mahirap din depensahan niya ng libero. Bohol. Combination play. Okay. What a great set there. Iba din kapag matagal na rin yung setter mo eh. Yung, yung mga ganyang klaseng play kasi it's really hard to train for that kind of play and yung timing. So kapag matagal na kayo naglaro, so easy na lang yung ganyang klaseng play. Si Trixie Gohol, I like Mel how she's going to the rookies early on yes. in this match. Yung trust ng setter, sobrang important yan sa spiker. I mean, um, asking all of our spikers, ano ba yung gusto nyo sa setter? They always say their trust sa amin. So kapag if if they feel like yung setter, um, may trust sa kanila during the game, ganda talaga ng laro ng mga spikers. Samantala, Aliana Ong serving that one long. And now Amakatan will serve it up para sa San Sebastian.
De La Cruz with the pass. Will she get it back? No, she won't. It's a quick yeah, attack for Babiera, but too strong. Yes, it was super long. Mel, do you remember the feeling of playing in your first match? How do you get over the opening jitters? Just keep on playing. <laughs> <laughs> just keep on playing. And, and don't think. Just look at the ball and not the crowd. Because iba, iba na in college, eh. You you play with the crowd, dalo na ngayon na ang dami na talaga sa audience compared to before. Especially now with the advent of social media. Yes. It's not just a pressure that you feel inside yes. the venue. Kasama na doon yung knowledge na a lot of people are watching yes. online. And, and, can, like every and can critique your game and yes, every and move. I agree to that. I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> Now, you mentioned during our pre-game discussion, see Vanessa Basbas, who is the libero of Mapua. You played the libero position. To me, she was also one of the most impressive youngsters yes. in NCA season 98. Yes. So, so it's so nice na during this time, sobrang tinitingnan na rin yung libero and yung importance ng libero. Like, People give credit to our liberos now, like like Bas Bas, like how she's doing now. Na ang ganda ng defense ng ng teams. So um, and kapag maganda yung defense, maganda yung receive, magkakaroon ng magandang set and ng spike. We'll take a break. When we come back, Stephanie Benito will have her first report. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Febuar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61 kilogram weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49 kilogram weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila E.J. Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage si Pinay weightlifter Elvin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa... Mga kapuso, kayo po ay 
Babalik sa NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. As these two teams, the Mapua Lady Cardinals and the San Sebastian Lady Stags, move forward to a new season, they brought with them their regrets last season. Para sa Lady Stags, ayon kay Coach Roger Gorayeb, eh hait daw ang naging problema nila dahil nagkulang sila sa matatangkad na players noong nakaraan. And even though he admitted that it's still their problem this season, they will instead utilize their veterans as experiences and skills that they wala naman siyang meron ang mga ito. Para naman sa Lady Cardinals, ayon kay Coach Aying Esteban, conditioning ang naging problema nila last season. And even though they made it past the eliminations round, pagdating daw sa semifinals, eh parang nahirapan daw ang mga ito at napagod na. Pero wag daw tayo mag-alala, Anton and Melissa, dahil ito daw mga regrets ito ang nag-fuel sa kanila coming off this season. Your thoughts on this, Anton and Melissa? You know, adding to what Stephanie said, Knowing San Sebastian, yung team talaga nila, hindi sila yung all tall. Like, of course, we all know um, Gretchen Sultanes. Nagulat nga ako sa height niya when I first met her. Nagrabe, grabe sila sa conditioning. Sabi ko, Gretch, ano ba yung ano nyo, yung secret? Bakit ang tataas yung tumalon? Grabe daw sila mag -weights. So, ganyan. So, adding din to Mapua, well, it's a young team. So, importante talaga yung condition, lalo na pagpa-finals. Yun yung importante from starting of the season, may kita. All of the players are super bucked up. Tapos, kailangan hindi yan maubos pagdating sa top four. Doon mo pumapayat na yung mga players during top four. So, sa conditioning talaga, sobrang importante, Anton. And I think I saw that yung kinapos yung Mapua in the stepladder semifinals against LPU. The team that eventually made it to their first ever NCAA Women's Volleyball Finals. But you know what? You gotta give it to them. Yeah. In history, first time, nasa top four. And you see um, promising players, you know, run, young rookies. So for more, young team pa lang to. And nag, nakarating sila ng top four. So that's a big deal. Para sa akin, that was what was most impressive about Mapua. Na karamihan sa mga players na nagdala sa kanila ay mga rookies. As we yes. see this hit by a new rookie wow. in Freyan Garcia. That was a strong hit, and hindi na basa din ng blocker. That was in the middle of the blocker. Yun yung mga. Bakit kayo nene-nervyo? Ang tatanda nyo ng player. Re-receive lang kayo. Ang dami nating erong sa reception, no? Kung iset mo lang ng iset, kung iset mo lang. Mel, ito yung inaabangan ng mga fans every season. Yung mga quotable quotes ni Coach Roger yes. na galing sa kanyang mga huddle. Ako, palagi ko inaantay yan. Yung sa mga sa Facebook, yung mga viral videos ni Coach, yung mga quotable quotes nga. And um, speaking of what Coach Roger, Roger said, totoo yan, medyo ko lang sila sa reception because they, they yeah, lost a good libero, si, si Jewel Vermilio. So, importante din na meron kang matatag na libero. Kasi yung mga liberos, they're the ones who are organizing them. The receive position, yung mga lahat. Hindi lang kami yung, yung, yung i-receive lang namin yung position namin. We also organize the defense of the team. So we are taking a look at the very young rookie libero from San Sebastian, Floyd Florenci Lazarte. So yan, yan ang, uh, yan ang ginagawa ni Melissa Gohing. Back in the day and perhaps sometime soon? Oh wow! <laughs> Balita ako kasi nagpapakondisyon eh, yung <laughs> Melissa Gohing eh. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, we'll see in God's yeah. time. <laughs> Yan yung mga moves ng mga setter na especially during crucial moment na hindi mo akalain magda-drop, mag-go one-two play sila. And it's it's very hard to read, ah. lalo na, you know, um, great setters like sila Rhea Di Makulangan, sila Chisa. And ang hirap talaga kunin yung mga gaganyan. Talagang, ano, die for the ball ka sa, sa ganyang drop ball. I like how both coaches are utilizing a lot of players in their rotation early on. And that tells us na malalim yung rotation and also these players, especially the new ones, are ready to contribute right away. Yes, and this is their first game ever. So tinitingnan ng mga coaches um, who are effective, kung sino yung magde-deliver. 
So ito yung parang warm up ng per player. And it's so nice the coaches are trusting also yung mga players from the bench. We are seeing Garcia and Rica Blanca from Mabua contributing right away. Now for San Sebastian, it's the usual suspects, just like so Tina Marasigan, as we see here. And Tina Maris Marasigan is famous for her long outside spike. So, kailangan na position ka talaga pa atras. If you're not in a good position, you won't be able to get her spike. Marasigan last season was averaging 13.3 points per match. Kat Santos, her scoring dip last season as compared to her rookie year. Last season, she was only putting up 12.9 points per match. In her rookie year, she was the top scorer in the league. Oh, back row attack. You love to see back row attacks, especially from young players, rookies, and sophomores. Oh, Mabua. Supposedly, it was a solid block, but nag net touch. Nag net after. Nang gigil. Aliana Ong, very active at the net as we head to this technical timeout. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydalin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang mag sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Martinez. I remember during one of our features in the off-season, I made like a bold prediction. And I said that I just have this gut feeling that Mapua would take things to another level in the women's volleyball tournament. At ngayon, Mel, first match pa lang, nakikita na natin na ang gagaling ng mga bagong players and the returning players and 
we talked about this during the commercial break. You were raving about Trixie Gohol. Yes, because she's a setter um, who's very versatile and binibigay niya sa lahat ng mga spikers, mga back, back row, sa mga front row spikers niya, iniikot niya talaga yung bola. That's why nahihirapan ang San Sebastian Lady Stags sa defense-wise sa net and also yung defense nila sa back, back ng court. Now, another thing I noticed, Mel, dito sa Mapua is, dalawa yung tebero nila. So you have Vanessa Basbas and Princess Rebustes. Talk about the importance of having two liberos in one team. Very important yan because every libero kasi has her own strength. Like me personally, receive ako. And before when I used to play for, for my former team, the other libero is for defense. So um, it's up to the it's up to your coach if gagamitin kayo both. But for us, it's nakakapahinga. Yun yung importante. Lalo na na kami lahat. Half of the court, we cover half of the court. Kaya um, nakapag-importante din na may dalawang um, liberos na nagsiswitch. I know it's been a while, but correct me if I'm wrong. During your time, there were some years na ikaw lang yung libero, di ba? Yes, in the sun, when, when I was playing in college, I was alone. That's why I used to jog from, from my school to Mall of Asia Arena and then go back. That was my extra workout. Para kahit fifth set, okay pa ako. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of the people watching right now, long-time fans who know how you play, the way you play is no joke because you would be rolling around the floor and you were playing during the time na hindi pa Tara Flex. Oh, yes. <laughs> Gabby, that's why I have um, a lot of scars. <laughs> floor burns? Floor burns. So, it's a big thing, you know, that now these kids playing in Taraflex, although it's been like a decade already since, right, they implemented the Taraflex type of uh, yes. type of court. Balik ang bola dito sa San Sebastian. Di makulangan, setting it up. Kat Santos popped up by Ong. Gohol tosses it up to Super Roxy De La Cruz. Medyo malayo yung set, but De La Cruz was able to, you know, adjust and then Na, nakuha pa niyang ilagay dun sa front line na cross and that's really hard na to for, for, for the for the outside spikers sa kabilang court wala pa rin tayong reception eh wala tayong reception wala tayong defense ano kung paano tayong pupuntos niyan ang dami niyo sinasayang na bola wala simple simple ang dapili Pretty much the same problem, Melissa. Yung mga errors. Yun ang pinapoint out ni Coach Roger. Yes, medyo nagsa-struggle pa ngayon ang Lady Stag sa defense nila. Like, if, if you're gonna watch um, both teams, mas organized talaga ang um, Mapua from, uh, from the defense ng San Sebastian ngayon. Di makulangan. Tossing it up. Bohol, back set. Wow. It's so hard to block a lefty from the opposite side. Raisa Janelle Rica Blanca breaking down the wall. Yes. And you will also see the serves then ng Mapua. Malakas talaga. Kaya nahirapan din mag-receive at makonvert into spikes yung yung sa side ng San Sebastian. Well, that's a great point. Last season, Mapu was number three in the league in serving. Point goes to the Lady Stacks. That's a smart play by Amakatan, the new team captain of San Sebastian, taking over from setter Vea Sison, who has graduated. Sabi ka, Maka, kalma lang. But their team, though, down by seven here in the opening set. Gohol to Papiera, popped up by Marasigan. Di makulangan. Tossing it up to Santos. 
both teams have the same numbers of unforced errors. But yung nga lang, from the Mapua side, mas na utilized nila yung offense nila, and they convert it into points. Unlike sa side ng San Sebastian, they're, they're having a hard time with their defense and their reception. So hindi nila na convert yung offense nila into points. Like, layu, like for example, that layu yung mga set. Yun, pag matigit yung set, they can convert it into points. And I guess that's the adjustment period that the new setter mm -hmm. is experiencing right now. It's one thing to practice it, pero yung actual game, yung actual match, ibang usapan yan. Yes. So, just like what Coach Roger said, important is the reception. Kaya from the Mapua side, important is the panapos because you will see umaangat yung points ngayon ng San Sebastian. So, five points na lang, they need to have um, a panapos para to win this set. Coach eyeing Esteban, that's what he's looking for. And coming off that timeout, you go to their best spiker, Roxy De La Cruz. Soaring in for the kill. Grabe din yung approach ni Roxy, no? Talagang may, may clip pagdating sa ere. Ang tagal ng hang time niya sa ere. Kaya din nahihirapan din yung blocker sa kanya. And this is the matchup right here, Melissa. Yung laban ni Kat Santos and Roxy De La Cruz, two of the most prolific spikers here in NCAA Women's Volleyball. But the thing is, with team sport, it's a team sport. So even if you have, you know, um, a scorer here and a scorer there, kailangan din na mag-provide din yung other spikers na nila um, two points. Para hindi, hindi din mapagod yung dalawa. So doon nagkakatalo, no? Yes. But right now, they are going almost exclusively to Roxy de la Cruz. And she is showing us that she is looking yeah. like she's going to take her game to another level. And wow. a little bit of a stare <laughs> down by Roxy. That I'm sure you, you miss those days because, of course, Lady Spikers are known for their swag. <laughs> Although, I don't remember you to be like that type of a person. Like, you, you yes. would hype up your, your teammates, <laughs> pero yung... Yung stare down sa kabilang ko po na, hindi naman. You weren't that kind of player. Because Anton, nakikita mo naman yung teammates ko sa harap. They're already doing it great. So hindi na nila ako kailangan. Kaya na nila yun. And, and uh, another thing your team was very known for was yung height. And yes. that's, what, that's what Coach Roger, as reported by Stephanie earlier, yun yung kulang sa kanila. That's what... Because that's the first defense. Um, sa net talaga. And iba pag may solid blockers ka because magiging organized din ang defense ng team. Marasigan. A lot of power behind that Tina, spike. Marasigan. Itong si um, Marasigan, maaasahan din siya pagdating sa mga crucial uh -huh. and you will see na pinuputol na yung momentum. She's that kind of player for the ladies' stats. Now, one player I'm actually looking for, but we haven't seen sa San Sebastian is KJ Judicio. Like, I mean, she started, pero di pa natin masyado na babanggit yung kanyang pangalan. And there she is in the middle. She's also one of the outside players na ang inaasahan ng Lady Stacks. But maybe we'll see her in the next set. A cause for concern dito sa panig ng Mapua. We could hear the urgency in the voice of Coach Aying Esteban. Now, 
we're noticing na nagbago ng position yes. si KJ Judicio. And how hard is that going from open spiker to middle blocker? It's, I always say, so I always ask then sa mga nagko-convert na players ng position, like how do they adjust? And some players nahihirapan, but some of the players then, you know, they just, um, they just train for that position. And especially now na may, na teams have coaches na for middle blockers, for per position. So, um, it's great na very versatile. Si John, si Jonisho, si KJ Jonisho, kasi you don't know. Um, pwede siyang i-outside pag kailangan siya. Pwede siyang i-middle pag kailangan siya. Grabe yung adjustment, no? Yeah. Siguro sa, yun nga, yung problema ni Coach Roger na lack of players with height. Because KJ is tall, yes. no choice siya but to convert her. Yes. Nice. And now, Mabua at set point after that ace. Mukhang nakinig ang mga players natin kay Coach Aying. And that's why timeouts, when they are timely, calling them at the right time, they matter so much to the way the game is running. And Kat Santos with a miss hit. Mapua will take the opening set here in their opening match of Season 99 of the NCAA. We'll be back for set number two. Buhag. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si John Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61 kilogram weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una na nag-qualify sa 49 kilogram weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Pinegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 2... A solid start for the Mapua Lady Cardinals to open a brand new campaign here in the Women's Volleyball Tournament of NCAA Season 99. San Sebastian made a late rally, a 8-2 run, but Coach Aying Esteban calling a timeout and inspiring his girls to play hard, to finish strong, to take that first set. You know, that was a great reminder. Kailangan talaga gisingin yung mga players. Guys, kanina 2015 kayo, ngayon, ganito na yung point. So ano pa? Ano pa gagawin? Kundi tapusin nyo na. So nakinig naman ang players kay Coach Aying. Now we're taking a look at the highlights here. And isa sa mga bagay na mapapansin po ninyo is the variety of players na sinesetan ni Trixie Gohol ng Mapua. 
Yes, pinapa pinapakaikot talaga. You have to give it to Christy Gohol itong set na ito because pinapakaikot niya talaga mapa mapa backline spike, mapa open and also the the quick set, the combination plays. Like what Coach Aing um, reminded her na dapat mas marami pa tayong combination plays para mabasag yung block ng kabila. So it's not a Roxy De La Cruz centered offense. Talagang yes. everybody can contribute, even the rookies. Yes, and you will see that yun nga, because lacking ngayon sa defense ang, 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 ang lady stags, but meron pa rin silang 10 attacks. Um, but mas maraming blocking si yung Mapua, and more service aces from the side of the Mapua. Kaya naman nahirapan sa reception ang lady stags. And we're taking a look at the chairman, actually, of the volleyball tournament, Mancom Rep of the University of Perpetual Health System, Dalta, Sir Frank Gusi. Gandang araw po sa'yo, sir. As we take a look at the other members of the Mancom, Sir Melchor Divina of Mapua University. And he's not smiling, but I'm pretty sure deep inside, he is happy dahil maganda ang pinapakita ng kanya mga players. This is Father Virgilio Paredes Jr. OAR of San Sebastian College Recoletos. And this is the be beautiful sight that we are seeing and I'm seeing some fans actually walking into the venue. This is this was the home court actually Melissa of NCAA Women's Volleyball last season. Like, more than 80% of the matches were held here. Sa final four na lumipat sa Phil Oil, Echo Oil Center, which uh, admittedly, some of the teams nagulat daw. Perpetual in particular, nagulat moving from this venue to the much bigger venue na Phil Oil. Brian Garcia! Like what you've said, uh, Anton, totoo yan. Nag-a-adjust ka rin kasi like the height of the court and yung laki ng court. Mag-a-adjust ka rin yung ilaw din. Ang daming factors kasi na kailangan i-adjust if you, if you switch to another gym venue. Meanwhile, service error, service error there for the rookie, Freyan Garcia. But as a rookie, you're allowed to make mistakes. But not on crucial <laughs> moments. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm glad you stressed that, Melissa. Pero, yun nga, we give a little bit of leeway to the freshmen. Or, or froshies, as uh, Lasallians would call them. Kat Santos. Kat Santos getting the point in for San Sebastian. That was Juna Gonzalez. You know, Kat Santos, since she was a rookie, ang galing niya na mag-placing. Yep. Like yung first line, first line cross, and then down the line. Mautak talaga siya na player. De La Cruz challenged at the top of the net. And, and I like how Dimakulangan is also very active on the block. Speaking of Dimakulangan, we were, we were still talking about that. Um, we found out that Dimakulangan is also from Batangas. Kung saan din nagaling si Rhea Dimakulangan. But we don't know if they are related or not. It's kind of weird though because Rhea here in her personal Rhea. information sheet, she says she was born in Sampaloc, Manila. Na sa provincia niya, Quezon. Pero si Rhea nga, the legendary setter yes. from Batangas. Ang galing mag-research ni Anton. Ang bilis. <laughs> Now, one of these days, we will talk to the young lady as we get to know the players as we move along this season. Babalik ang bola dito sa San Sebastian. Quick attack for Amaka Pan and nobody there to pick it up. The ball was pretty low, kaya nagtinginan sila. And of course, knowing De La Cruz, aatras na siya eh. Mag-ready na siya to spike, but... Yun nga, sobrang babalan talaga ng bola. Ang bilis ng sitwasyon. Okay, Melissa, as somebody who specializes in keeping the ball in the air or preventing it from bouncing on the floor, why 
What is the most common reason why that happens? Yung, yung campfire, yung, yung bola bumabag sa, sa gitna, and everybody's just looking at each other. What's the common reason for that to happen? Because walang usapan. Like, for, in our case, sa team namin, yung, if ever hindi makuha ng, ng setter, ako yung magsiset. So, ako yung maghahabol. So, I don't know with other teams, but it's, it's more of communication. Like, al alam na ng lahat na pag hindi nakuha ng setter, ako na yung hahabol. Santos picking it up from the back. Di ba kulangan? Back set. Back arrow point goes to Mapuwa University. And that type of attack, yung back row, isa sa mga pinakamahirap. Yes. I-convert. So now for Mapuwa is Raisa. That's why hands down to spikers who are very consistent from the back line. And to me, the player that comes to mind is always Gretzel Soltones. Yes. And grabe ha, like, um, based from my experience, <laughs> na depends han yung backline attacks niya, Rocks parang frontline Anton. <laughs> and during her San Sebastian days, grabe talaga. Yes. These days, yung mga Gen Z, they call those types of players mamaw eh. <laughs> The legend. <laughs> and an ace. It's an ace. By Rica Blanca. You will see the rookies then from from the lady from the lady cardinals. Na grabe sila mag serve. Kanina pa sila nag ace and mostly yung mga aces nala from the rookies. Para siya. Oh, good save by Rica Blanca. De La Cruz popping it up. Gohol. Back row. Okay, back row by a rookie. Even though that went long, Melissa, I, I'm happy to see that she's trying to work on yes. that skill. And that's a powerful back row attack. I just noticed with uh, the Lady Car Cardinals, every time na sobra nagpapalitan, what they do is, kaya medyo organized yung depensa nila, tinataas nila yung bola. So the setter has, so Gohol has the time to think and para magkaroon ng combination phase. That's a great point. Serving now is Roxy de la Cruz. Oh, San Sebastian's libero is really tall. Yes. <laughs> Kapansin pansin. Eh. Bas bas. Nice pass. Quick attack. And Babiera is feeling it. Babiera. This rookie libero, who's actually initially a reserve but activated today, Jasmine Domingo, wearing jersey number seven, has got to be one of the tallest liberos I've ever seen. Yes, and usually, di ba, like Angel Jonella, uh -huh. di ba, pocket size libero yes. kayong tawag sa kanya. We even get and comments, ang ah, tangkat mo pala. <laughs> because in TV, you look, di ba, you look small. <laughs> Kapag kasama mo yung mga tall teammates mo. So Jasmine Domingo is a 5'7 libero. Wow, that's pretty tall. Yeah, 5'7. Usually, ano kami, 5'4, 5'5. Tsaka, like, looking at her right now on the bench of San Sebastian, parang isa na siya sa pinakamatangkad. Eh. Oh, what a save right there. What a save by the new libero of Mabua. Juna Gonzalez. But Gonzalez able to put it away for San Sebastian when we come back. Out. Stephanie Benito will give us another courtside update. Don't go away. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydalin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. 
Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Pinegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elvin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Mga kapuso, kayo ay nakatutok pa rin sa NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Panibagong season, panibagong team captains para sa magkabilang koponan. At nakapanayam ko nga ang dalawa tungkol sa responsibilidad na binigay sa kanila. Ang sabi sa akin ni Team Captain Tere Manalo ng Mapua Cardinals, eh, isa lang daw ang goal niya during the eliminations round. Um, would you believe it? Ang sabi niya sa akin, uh, ang goal lang niya is to um, help the team to victory in every game and just four sets dahil daw noong nakaraang season is a five set games daw sila na dali. Ang sabi naman sa akin ni Team Captain Amakata ng San Sebastian Lady Stags na hulang taon ng maglalao, hulang season na maglalaro para sa koponan. Eh, hindi naman daw bago sa kanya ang paglilid dahil noon pa man daw ay tinuturuan na sila ng leadership. Pero pangako daw niya kay Coach Roger Correa, as much as possible, eh, lead niya ang team to finals this season. Speaking of Coach Roger, konting update lang during timeout kanina, pinaalalahanan lang niya ang team na wag daw magpadala sa nervyos at sa presyo dahil hindi daw ito makakatulong at hindi hindi daw ito makakapagpanalo sa kanila para sa araw na ito. Ito muna sa ngayon, uh, Anton and Melissa. Yes, that's true. Yung ano talaga, yung first game jitters, yung tinatawag na ganun. Ito yung first game. Dito pa lang kumukuha ng kumpiyansa ang team. Kaya importante din na manalo, yung first, manalo kayo sa first game. Kasi yung kumpiyansa nyo, dadali nyo yan sa mga next games ninyo. Sa Papua naman, naalata nila yung mga thrilling five-set matches yes. that they've experienced in Season 98. So yung goal nila, tapusin na within four sets. That was very tiring because what what happened to them was napagod na sila uh, sa huli nice. kasi puro five-setter games. Totoo naman yan. Kaya as much as possible to finish it three sets or maximum four sets. Papieras had several aces already here in this match. Let's see if she will continue to target Kat Santos. Yes, targeting Kat Santos again. There's a pancake by Trixie Gohol. Prasigan will hit. De La Cruz was there. De La Cruz will give up a free ball. De Makulangan. Well, it's better to have two players try to go for the ball than none. But that's a the was Air a right long there. rally. Pero yun nga lang, pag mga rally na ganito, you shouldn't uh, make an error. And that was a good defense from Apu. Sa idadami nilang saves. And grabe yung pupukan ng offense from from the ladies' tag side. The whole standstill set, quick attack para kay Aliana. Check ball. The game is getting intense here, even the crowd. Yeah. And look at the points now, kumpara nung first set, nag-warm up na itong team.
ganado itong dalawang teams, pati yung crowd, kasi yung first match sa men's, nag five sets. So it was a, a thrilling five set match. And now it's carrying over here to the women's side. Let's see this attack combination play. What a play. Brian Garcia continues to impress us here in their debut. Pat Santos. That was too sharp for for the setter to to get that. So parang malabas Melissa, no? It's the rookie libero who's the who's the receiving libero. Yes. Dinama ay balik ng San Sebastian, very active. Who aside? Garcia. Santos. Aspas. And yun yung in-explain mo kanina yes. na minsan yung libero na rin yung set And that's what Basbas did for De La Cruz. That was on the block. Twelve all. Oh, wow. Rica Blanca off the block. That's what... That's what's nice about kapag lefty ka, kasi kahit na i deep cross mo yung spike, lalabas. At yun yung ginagawa ni, ginagawa ngayon ng um, opposite spiker ng Mapua. And it's also a problem for San Sebastian because she's a lefty. Yes. It's pretty challenging to block a lefty. Oh Sa pagkakataon na yun, nagpanggaan si Basbas at si Garcia. That was a miscom there. Now the receiving rookie libero comes in. The Princess Rebustes. Shot too far, para kay Aliana. That the set was too low for her. Kaya ginanun yun nalang. Kaya naging long. But if 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 it was higher, possible pa na kumask yung spike na yon. Hirap ng trabaho. Trixie Gohol has to know all the variations. First spiker on her squad. But of course, there are spikers like Roxy De La Cruz na no matter what type of set you toss to her, dahil mataas siya tumalon, papaluin at papaluin niya yan. Ang tagal talaga ng hang time niya and yung clip niya sa era. That's why... Wow. <laughs> I, I'm waiting for her fans to bring back that Super Roxy banner. Meron yan eh. Meron siya na fans club na may That's Super Roxy Santos. banner. It, it got a lot of airtime last season. <laughs> Tsaka meron din yung mga yung big head cutouts. Oh nga eh. I, I'm waiting for those. <laughs> they, they, they were bringing out a lot of those in season 98. Siguro ano, nagwa-warm up pa kasi first match pa lang. Wow, Rica Blanca, no need for a warm up. She is introducing herself to the NCAA viewing public in her debut match. Finally, KJ Dionisio getting a toss. Wow. That was on top of the block. Oh, net. Point goes to the Lady Sacks. We have a net violation there. It was not that obvious, but nakita ng second referee natin. Now, will Coach Ayeng Esteban challenge it?
Well, we'll take a break and wait until they sort things out. San Sebastian right now leads Mapua by one in set number two. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangan puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasama ng Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang labang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si John Febuar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup. Coach Aying Esteban making a lineup change here. Entering the fray, sophomore Hannah de Guzman and a rookie setter, Princess Jeline Manara. Let's see if this move, this decision will do better for Mapua. Because when you change then your setter, nag-iiba din kasi yung play. So sometimes um, it's for the better or, or we don't know. Well, I want to know how different Manarang plays as compared to Trixie Gohol, who did an excellent job of getting every spiker involved. And the team captain, Tere Manalo, making an appearance here. As reported by Stephanie earlier, their goal is to end the match in four. They don't want to experience those numerous five-setters that they did last season. Wow. And I'm they switched their middle blocker to Babiera because they're having a hard time now with uh, their defense on the net. During that rally, Coach Aying was standing in between the player and the ball. And I'm, I'm so amazed how the player was able to run around Coach Aying and still save it. Minsan talaga yung nakikita mo yung bola lang, hindi yung mga tao sa paligid mo. Timeout, Mapua University. There's a turnaround now with the situation. Nung first set, na problema sa reception ang Lady Stags. Ngayon naman ang Lady Cardinals ngayon ang nahihirapan sa reception. Kaya hindi ito, ito na hindi ito na set ng maayos. Kasi um, lahat ng receive, receive nila medyo malayo sa net. So hindi sila nakaka combination plays compared um, to their first set um, game. Di pa kulangan. Targeting Roxy De La Cruz. Tere Manalo on the quick attack. Di pa kulangan to Marasigan. Here's the toss to Garcia. Nothing there. Manara, the rookie setter. Back set. Difficult set. But Looks like there was a net touch, Melissa. Or was she able to get it in? Yes. She was... Oh, it was a net touch. 
So a lucky break there for Mapua as that ball was set really close to the net. But you will see um, from the Lady Tag side, they have better reception now. Okay? And dami nilang good sets. Yun lang. That was a lifting violation. So the lifting violations for our viewers kapag nanggaling dito sa baba, so yun yung ginawa kanina, and then sinet ng, ng back set. Ako yung nahihirapan sa adjustment ni KJ Junisho for this match. I guess I got so used to seeing her being one of the featured spikers. She was number four in the league in scoring. And now she's barely getting any opportunity switching from open to middle. It's also a challenging time for her. That's true. It wasn't talaga yung mga misreceive kasi sobrang close yung game 19-18. And if nakuha yung set ito ng Mapua, it's a huge advantage for them pagdating na sa third set. So kailangan manalo ngayon ang Lady Stags. Yun nga ang sabi ni Coach Roger. Manara keeping it alive. De La Cruz from the back row on an emergency spike. De La Cruz De La Cruz cleaning up well from the back row, but San Sebastian just more active on that rally. And for this second set, they have better blockings. Grabe yung mga pa-check ball nila. Kaya grabe din yung dive ng, ng defense ng Mapua. And ang galing ng, ng defense nila sa net ngayon, set. And for a team that Coach Roger describes as lacking in height, that's a good sign. Marasigan. Marasigan getting the point. San Sebastian on top by one. So, this is for Mapua, number 18, Hannah de Guzman out. At babalik sa ating laro. Rica Blanca and Gohol. Number two, Raisa Rica Blanca in. So, we'll see if this, um, this switching magiging better yung place nila, better yung defense nila from the side of the Lady Cardinal. Gohol. Wow. wow! That's the most powerful hit we've seen from Aliana Ong today. And Gohol answered my question. <laughs> <laughs> and we see the improvement in Trixie Gohol as well. Last year, Gohol's ranking wasn't high. She was number seven in the best setter race. So I guess she's taking it upon herself to level up her game now that she's in her third year. And with experience then, magiging magulang na rin yung isang setter. And that's what um, Gohol is showing to us sa game na ito. Gohol. Back set para kay Rica Blanca. Yung makulangan. De La Cruz. Again, working hard from the back row. Wow! What a powerful spike. That's a rookie. Yes. So what more if Garcia will play next year and the next years? She's only 19 years old, Mel. Wow. Grabe yung power. And you will see her built din eh, nas solid. So that explains it. She's also from Batangas, <laughs> which is one of the hotbeds for volleyball. Ano bang kinakain ng Batangas? Lipa, Batangas. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kat Santos, Santos reminding us who she is. One of our more well-rounded and best spikers here in NCA Women's Volleyball. And Kat Santos has been cutting the momentum. Pag ito, lumamang, biglang ikakot yung momentum, and then lumamang naman ang mapuwa, siya na ulit. She has to be that type of a player, the one you go to when 
her team needs it the most. And here she is again. Santos was denied though. Mabua putting up a wall. Ong and Rica Blanca getting up there. And Ong has been doing well because she's tall, so sobrang advantage siya ng Mapua. Kaya ang ganda din ng defense, ay, de defense nila sa cross kasi sarado yung cross nila. Santos. Kohol, who will she go to? Goes to the middle to the captain. That's probably the happiest celebration I've seen for Mapua, knowing that it was their captain who scored. Lafele, paano mapapatay yung bola? Pwede ka namang umibabaw, maliit naman sa'yo yung blocker mo. Bakit hindi mo ibabawan? Ah, magsugal na magsugal, walang sumunod doon sa quicker mo. Discarte na kaunti sa paluan. Hindi, kayo na, hindi na kayo nag-iisip eh, palo lang kayo ng palo eh. Biluha lang pa sa Pag mga ganitong crucial moments din, Anton, ano talaga, gulangan din eh. Kung sino din magulang na spiker, hindi lahat lakas. So yun ang sinasaba ni Coach Roger sa kanyang players. Tignan natin kung magigising itong Lady Stags ni Coach Roger Goreyev. We cannot afford to go down two sets to none. Santos! Santos again, not over. Pero mahirap na set yun, mahirap na play. Yeah, and tinayin niya kasi iligay sa down the line. But the net was, ay, the set was too close sa net. So mahirap talaga ilagay sa down the line yun. It will be not over. Wow. Running attack. Okay, that impressed me. KJ Dionisio looking you, like a middle blocker. You were waiting for that, Anton. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> For you, Melissa, I imagine it's it's music to your ears when you hear isang pasa na lang. Believe it or not, pag gano'n na sinabi ng coach, sinasabi ko, tabi na kayo lahat. <laughs> gano'n na sinasabi ko, ako na. <laughs> That's where it starts. Oh! And remember, I told you na bawal mag service error juicing during crucial moments. That hurts. Yeah. It was a set where San Sebastian had the lead on several occasions, but Mapua coming alive and another crucial timeout called by Coach Aying Esteban. Mapua is on top right now, two sets to none. We will be back for set number three. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang.
Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una na nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF. It looks like a promising start to a brand new season for the Mapua Lady Cardinals as they take a two sets to none advantage against the San Sebastian College Recoletos Lady Stags. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Anton Ross alongside Melissa Cohen Nasino here with us. And ending the second set, you will see na Mapua has more points talaga. De La Cruz has 10 points, Ong has 7 points, and Garcia 8 points. So these three talaga, sila yung managkakot ng momentum. So sila yung nagtatapos ng set. And for the for the lady, lady, lady stags naman, they need to do more with their reception and that they need to adjust more sa mga sets because they're having hard, they're having a hard time with their reception. Santos has 9 points, Dionisio 5 points, and Marasigan has five points. So Dionisio adjusting from open spiker to middle blocker, but still managing to get five points. But a quiet five points, except for that running attack that that I enjoyed. And you know, if she can get comfortable with the middle blocker position, then I think that will result into better things para sa kubunan ni Coach Roger Goreyev. Let's take a look at the statistics here. Like what I've said a while ago, Mapua has more attacks because they ha they've been doing great with their reception. And I said din kanina na San Sebastian Lady Stags has been doing great sa blocking nila. Ang dami kaninang blocks talaga. Pero ang galing din ng coverage ng Mapua. And um, mas maraming unforced errors yung Mapua. But at the end of the game, ang mananalo kung sino ang may panapos. Because you, you've been seeing these two teams, umabot sila ng 20, 25, 23. So, very tight yung game, very close yung game. It's just that sino yung may, mas may panapos. Yun ang mananalo. Kat Santos got the first attempt at a spike, but the Mapua Lady Cardinals were ready for her. Ang nakakatakot sa Mapua with regards to yung panapos, ang daming pwede maging closer sa kanila ngayon. Yes. <laughs> Just like this girl right here, Garcia. And hands down to their rookies. Yung yeah. rookies nila sa 97. Still playing now. Rookie nila, De La Cruz last year. Still playing now. And ngayon, they have Garcia. So grabe, they have super rookies na ngayon nagmamature na and ang gulang na rin maglaro pagdating sa opensa and sa depensa. Maganda yung naging recruitment ng Mabua. Yes. Post-pandemic. Yes. And that was very challenging for a lot of teams na during the pandemic, maraming players na umalis, mm -hmm. maraming players na nawala sa kondisyon, and players also that didn't know what to do. So for Mapua to bring in this crop of young players, it's great for their volleyball program. Yes. Not all 
Kanina, ang ganda ng blocking ng Lady Stags. But now, yung Lady Cardinals, bumabawa sila sa blocking. And pansin ko, when Ong is in the front line, lumalakas talaga yung block nila. You can see her height, lamang na lamang talaga. And Aliana Ong is one of the best blockers here yes. in NCAA Women's Volleyball. Janisho. And now... Players active at the top of the net. And Garcia gaining confidence with every point. Remember the name. We'll be saying it a lot this season. Freyan Chanel Garcia. A very unique name. Yes, very unique. I love her name. <laughs> Freyan Chanel. Oh, wow. Now Mapua trying to experiment here with a Roxy De La Cruz back row. They were up five to nothing before that. And Gohol is a risk taker. You risk the back line. Iba din kasi yung palo coming from the back line. Iba din yung class yung defense. So sometimes masu surprise ka, uma bante yung defense nyo, tas biglang back line kailangan yung umatras. So very, um, Gohol is a risk taker, which is doing well for the side of the Lady Cardinals. And with regards to De La Cruz, I think that's the next level, eh, sa kanyang pagiging spiker and yes. ace. To be more consistent than sa backline. If she can add that to her game, nako, we might be talking to her, talking about her all the time as an MVP <laughs> candidate. Na, yes. Ganong level na. Kaya lang, this is three straight points para sa San Sebastian, Melissa. It's more of consistency, good start, or yung kapit ng isang team. And kumapit ang Lady Stags kahit na maganda yung start ng Mabua. Yun lang. Momentum na sana para sa San Sebastian. A service error is a... Mabilis na point siya. So, as much as possible, lessen the service so, error. Automatic Garcia. one point kasi yan, Anton. Mukhang na kung magka-timeout si Coach Roger, alam ko na yung sasabihin niya sa kanyang mga players. He's been sounding like a broken record in this game, talking about the errors. Roxy De La Cruz, nakaibabaw sa mga blockers. Mahirap talaga pigilan yan, one-on-one. -on -one. Ibabaw, yes. And I just noticed with Roxy, pag single yung block niya, chine check out niya na. Magulang talaga siya. I remember one of your close friends, si Phil Cayetano. I was gonna say that she's actually um, on top of my mind. <laughs> diba? Kasi naalala ko in one of my interviews with her, sabi niya, pag Malaki yung blocker. Check out, check out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yun daw yung diskarte niya. And alam mo yung sharp niya na cross? You know, we always talk about that. Na sabi niya na asar daw siya kasi nandun ako. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break. Mapua leads San Sebastian 8-3. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haideline Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nang una ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang finals. 
Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news na... Nagbabalik po ang NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. During timeout, Coach Ying Esteban reminded his team to just focus on their system dahil parang nawawala raw, daw, uh, raw ang mga ito. Uh, kaya nakakadikit ang kabilang koponan but still commended them for their second set performance. Dagdag paalala lang ni Coach Esipagan lang daw sa depensa, maging aware sa nangyayari sa loob ng court at huwag magmadali. On the other hand, Coach Roger Gorayev is not least with his team's performance at sinabi pa nitong magagaling naman ang mga ito tuwing ensayo pero bakit parang hindi makapaglaro ng maayos para sa araw na ito. Kaya kaya naman daw pala nilang dikitan, eh bakit daw hindi pa nila ipinanalo ang second set. Tanggalin ng nervyos at mag-focus. Ito ang huling paalala ni Coach Roger sa kanyang koponan. Ito muna sa ngayon sa magkabilang panig. Balik sa inyo, Anton and Melissa. Talking about first game jitters, totoo yan. <laughs> like, kailangan talaga matanggal yan. At, at, at hindi ka matalo ng first game. Kaya alam ni Coach Roger kung gano'ng ka-importante na manalo sila. And you, you see naman how they play. So siguro, they can do more. Um, Coach Roger knows that they can do more. Kaya um, she's expecting more from her from his girls. And for Mapua naman, Mapua's doing good, especially their first set. Kaya sabi ni Coach Aying, just stick to the system. And wag mawala. Now, what was the most nervous you've ever felt in a match? It's probably my first time na pinasok ako randomly. Okay. I was a rookie then. I did that no bilang uh, sabi, going change to libero. It's a doubt out. Doon lang sinabi magiging libero ako. And before that, you were? Defense specialist. So para ka, what? Libero? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and, and that was the start of your story. And we were up against USP. Wow. Aiza Maizo. Oh. Ang Geta Bakero. Oh my gosh. <laughs> was, was Rhea there already? Yes. Oh, that was a powerhouse. Yes. <laughs> Those were the, the glory days. Unforgettable game. The yun yung ano eh. Pre social media years. Yes. <laughs> and the OGs know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's always nice to bring back an OG here to relive the glory days. And now we are ushering in a new era of talent and we're so glad to see him. The tradition continue of, yes. of talented young athletes continue to elevate the game and bring it forward. And you see the rookie players really performing well and giving a lot of points for their team. New setter. On the floor, para dito sa San Sebastian, that's Mary Ann Margaret Adia, wearing jersey number five. So, last year they had Vea Season, who was their captain and setter. Yes. Ayon, dalawang rookie setter, Melissa. Maganda din na may dalawa kang setter because every setters, every setter, nagiiba yung play nila. So, minsan, um, it's a good gamble then for the coach to switch them like in between sets or iba-iba yung setters niya um, per set para mabasag din yung blocking ng ibang team. Palo natin. Yung palong, may meron tayong objective na patay. Hindi yung i-over lang yung ball. Hindi naman mamamatay kung malambot pa sa tissue paper yung palo. Pero one pass lang, one pass. One pass. Basic lang tayo, basic. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the first banat. Coat and coat banat ni Coach Roger. We were waiting for that, Anton. Yung quotable <laughs> quotes niya. Please record that and post it. <laughs> Go compile na yan. Babangko na yan. Tissue paper. <laughs> Hindi mamamatay yan pag kasing lambot yan ng tissue paper. <laughs> Does Coach Ramil ever joke during a huddle? Like, I mean, I've, I've covered... A lot of his matches, but I, nothing stands out. Walang joke na tumatak sa isip ko. Maybe in training. Training, okay, okay. Depends on his 
more of ano eh, instructional mm. yung sinasabi niya in between yeah very straightforward pansin ko lang if ong is in the service line lumalamang yeah. talaga yeah she's a and seeing yung float na serve niya and meron pang and that's an improvement ha, because Aliana Ong is not really known as a strong server. She wow. only had seven aces last season. So it's good that you noticed it. Maybe that's something that she worked on during yeah. the off-season. And lumalakas din kumpiyansa ng player sa service line kapag tumatagal na rin. Medyo tumagal si Kat Santos sa bench ha, during that last stretch. Kaya lumobo na yung lamang ng Mapua. Sometimes it's also a move of the coach na ipares, because she's been doing a lot for from their side. So baka pirapapahinga or we don't know. I like how Trixie Gohol is is very relaxed and just enjoying herself on the volleyball court. KJ Dionisio, new season, new role. From open spiker to mini blocker, Marasigan. Tina Marasigan. That was a good down the line hit and single block. So it was through the block because it's so brang lakas ng spike. De La Cruz. On the way down, when she tipped that ball over the net. Back row by Garcia. Too much spice on that spike, though. This is a junior tossing to a freshman for a back row attack. Starting them young. De La Cruz. Roxy De La Cruz. I am really impressed. You have it. To, you have to give it also to Rebustes. Ang galing niya sa reception and ang galing niya rin sa defense. Na angat niya tinataas niya talaga ng bola para mas maging organized yung plays ng mapua. Yeah, they're they're a good tandem right now. See, si Ivana Basbas and. Rebustes. Yes. Pato. And the rookies continue to contribute for Mapua. Raisa Janelle Rica Blanca. The ladies tags. I was expecting a long ball, but she ignored the back row. It's hard, huh? it's hard to control the back row attack. Like that. And that's an ace following that nice adjustment by Rika Blanca. When we come back, Rika Blanca will have another crack at it from the service line. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydalin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manan.
the new additions to this Mapua Scott squad, excuse me, Raisa Janelle Rica Blanca. Oh, that's Cherry Makatangay. Um, sweet Makatangay, sorry. It's Cherry yung mami niya. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, of course, Cherry Makatangay, legendary yes. player. Yan po yung anak niya, si Sweet Makatangay. It's so nice to see yung mga kids, parang so the parents, are. the previous players, and then they pass it on to so their kids. Yeah. I'm wondering though, two, bakit hindi siya naka-line up this season. Kasi naka-line up siya last year sa Mapua. And she was even playing beach volleyball also. Maybe because she's uh, more focusing on beach volleyball. Mm. We've been seeing more errors from the ladies' tag side. They haven't been uh, recovered from... Marasigan. Another error from their side. Hindi pa sila nakaka-recover galing sa mahabang lamang ng Mapua from them. And during this time, it's extra challenging for them to catch up to Mapua's points. Yeah. Garcia. Four touches, point goes to Lady Stacks. It's the biggest lead of the match for the Lady Cardinals. Rabustes is back in for Mapua. Another quotable quotes there. Hapun ka ba kanina ka pa? Ganun ang ganun. Well, totoo naman, because kanina pa nire-remind ni Coach Roger ang girls na paluin nyo, huwag kayo matakot. And he knows that they can do more. They can do more attacks, stronger attacks para para magka-points. Naalala ko nung nakaraang season, sabi ni Coach Roger, parang pinapanood lang ng... Siyempre, he said it in a joking manner. She, he said it jokingly. Pinapanood na lang yung San Sebastian para pakinggan yung mga huddle niya. <laughs> of course, you know, he wants his players to respond in a positive way. And let's see, they still have time. Kat Santos. There we go. Yun, wag matakot paluin at wag lang you know paluin sa blocker maging magulang sa spikes and yun ang gusto makita ni coach Roger from from his girls yeah, that was no tissue paper spike yes by Kat Santos and surprisingly walang sumabay na blocker doon ha, sa Mapua Mapua maybe relaxing a little yeah. bit walang block walang receive that's Two straight points for San Sebastian. But it really happens. Pag sobrang lamang ka, mm. sometimes nare-relax ka. Yeah. But sometimes you have to tell yourself, you know, nako, kailangan natin tapusin to. <laughs> oh, regalo, regalo para kay Garcia. Wow. And that was impossible to save. Ganda ng set ni Manara, ha? So even the rookies, the rookie setter, 
showing us some skill. Both setters of Mapua are very dependable. Another great rookie crop para kay Coach Aying Esteban. Garcia has played well, Manarang has played well, Rebustes, and Rica Blanca. These four additions, ganda ng pinapakita para sa Mapua. What a hit there by Rica Blanca. Nakahit galing sa likod. Ganda ng adjustment, it was through the block. Medyo umika-ika siya doon kasi <laughs> nag-adjust talaga siya doon. <laughs> Di makulangan. Setting it up para kay Kat Santos. Kat Santos. Kat Santos has been hitting her spikes there, deep cross. So I'm just wondering, hindi pa naka-adjust yung Mapua from, from that position. Gonzalez. Oh. Oh. Double. Medyo na out of balance kasi siya, kaya na double. Totoo yan, yung sinabi niya, sana dinig ko na lang. Yung mga ganung bola, dapat dinig na lang. Mapua, three points away from taking their first win. Oh, straight to the net on that serve by a new rookie. Being sent in, Sinadine Angeli Berses. Oh, halos lahat ng players ginamit ni Coach Aying today. Ah. Good receive. De La Cruz. The Hall to Roxy. And Roxy De La Cruz. It was a check ball. Enjoying that last point. That was a smooth drop ball coming from her. Ano lang eh. Tinapik, Parang ganun lang eh. <laughs> Tinapik lang ni Roxy eh. Dimakulangan. Tumarasigan. Gohol. Quick attack. Santos from the back row. Got Santos. That was a throwback to the Gretzel Soltones era. Yeah. That's what Soltones used to do a couple years back. For San Sebastian. Sigan. Gohol to De La Cruz. Dimakulangan hustling. Gohol to De La Cruz. Not over. The set was too far from the net. And tinay niya pa rin paluin ng malakas. But it was not successful. Medyo malayo sa net eh. San Sebastian getting some energy. Getting the rhythm back. From the crowd also. Two hundred percent. Ang ganda na sinabi ni Coach Aying kanina. So, si Coach Aying meron siyang uh, nickname, eh, di ba? Kasi Clarence is his yes. real name, Esteban. Si Trixie may goal naman. If you heard that huddle, ang tawag sa kanya ni Coach Aying is Chok. So, yan yung ano niya. Ano ba tawag niya? Palayaw? Or yes. nickname? Nickname. 
So, chalk. Chalk bohol. <laughs> oh. Dionisio. Too much power. And with that so error, which has pretty much been the story of the match, too many errors for San Sebastian. Mapua is now at match point. And we have the rookie, Raisa Janel Rica Blanca at the service line. De Makulangan running attack for Amaka Tan. Uh, yes. Earlier, Anton, medyo nagko-contest pa uh, si Tan sa call kasi double daw yung kaninang but there was no call so it was a point for Pua. De La Cruz. And Mapua is able to finish it. Wow, what a game this game, Anton. Let's take a look at the final play. There's the rookie setter, Di Makulangan. De La Cruz to Gohol to the captain, Tere Manalo. Finishing the match in emphatic fashion. So there you have it. The final set scoring 25-20, 25-23, For the winner in their opening match, the Mapua Lady Cardinals. And what a game for, from, for, for the side of Mapua. They're more consistent when it comes to offense, reception, and also do their defense. Congratulations to the Mapua Lady Cardinals winning their first match here in NCAA Season 99 in straight sets laban sa San Sebastian College Recoletos Golden Lady Stags. At sa aming pagbabalik, makakausap namin ni Melissa Gohing na sino ang winning coach na si Coach Aying Esteban. Don't go away. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambato ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong Sambuanga City ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz. Makakasama niyang lalaban para sa Pilipinas sa Paris Olympics sina E.J. Obiena, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. 
bagong WBC World Minimum Weight Champion si Pinoy boxer Melvin Jerusalem. Matapos po ang kanyang laban sa Nagoya, Japan. Sa loob ng 12 rounds, ilang beses na patumba ni Melvin ang Japanese boxer na si Yudai Shigyoka. Sa dulo, nakuha ni Melvin ang panalo. Nagpapatuloy ang ating coverage ng NCAA Season 99, New Heroes of the Game. Panalo po ang Mapua Lady Cardinal sa kanilang unang panalo dito sa ating panibagong season laban sa San Sebastian 25-20, 25-23 at 25-18. Kasama po namin ni Melissa Gohing na sinong winning coach na si Coach Clarence Aying Esteban. Melissa, I'm gonna give it to you because uh, this is sort of a reunion between yeah. the yes! two of you. My former coach. <laughs> <laughs> so, Coach Aying, how did you guys how did you guys prepare for this season? Ano ba yung mga pagbabago na may kita ngayon ng ating NCAA volleyball fans from the Mapua Lady Cardinals? Yes, um, actually, kasi last year naging ano sa amin yun, naging direction sa amin. Nag-focus kami sa my conditioning namin kasi last year medyo kinapos kami dun sa bandang dulo. Then yung skills talagang tinutukan na namin yung skills, yung conditioning. So lahat kinapalish pa namin para mas madali kami ngayon manalo ngayong season na to. So coach, um, ano ba yung sekreto? Bakit ang gagaling ng mga rookie ninyo? Yun yung <laughs> lagi namin pinag-uusapan ni Anton. Hindi, very grateful din ako sa mga rookies ko kasi na-adapt agad nila yung gusto namin mangyari. So, yun yung mga bagay na great, ano, nagpapasalamat kami kasi kahit bagong dating sila dun sa team namin, na-adjust agad nila yung sarili nila para uh, makasama nila dun sa loob, makasalamuhan lang kung ano yung gagawin. So, more on repetition lang talaga yung ginagawa namin para makuha din nila na makuha kung ano yung dapat nilang gawin. Okay, Coach ay speaking of the rookies, eto, sobrang na-impress kami dito sa mga bago, ha? Ito, si Freyan Chanel Garcia, yes. si Princess Rebustes, libero, yes. just like Mel, and si Raisa Janel Rica Blanca, yung kaliwete. Yes. Ano ba ang kwento nito mga players na to? First time playing in the NCAA, pero parang hindi mga rookie as tinart yeah. mo agad at early contributions para sa kanila. Um, Siyempre, yung pinaganda namin, yung exposure nila, sa saan kami sumasali, then yung sa tune-up games. Actually, yung si Rebo Rebustes is ano yan, Um, dati ko ng libero, um, unfortunately, nagka-ACL siya noong time na yun. So, ngayon siya bumabawi. Sabi niya talagang lalaro sila mayo. Sila yung gusto ko sa nila, mga players namin, is gustong-gustong manalo talaga itong NCAA. Coach, totoo ba? Kasi, Miles and I were looking at the history. Last year, yung pinakaunang Final Four ng Mapua Lady Cardinals. Yes, tama, tama, ba? tama. Wow. Tama. So, this year, Coach, intact yung lineup mo. Madami pang malalakas na bata na pumasok. Ano yung goal na sinet mo sa team mo for season 99 knowing na last year was your first ever Final Four? Um, Siyempre, sineset namin yung podium finish. Siyempre, pumasok na kami ng Final Four. Sinasabi ko nga, nandito na tayo, napasubo na tayo. So, panindigan na namin kung ano naman yung gusto namin makamit. Siyempre, wala, wala namang coaches na walang nag aim dun sa pinaka-highest dun sa podium finish. Pero, siyempre, mag-podium finish kami, great na rin kami dun. Pasalamat na rin kami kasi galing talaga kami sa scratch. Hmm. Mel, kanina, nung pumunta si Coach Ayik dito, napansin natin dalawa, may nag-abot ng bulaklak sa isang player sa Mapua side. Yung anak pala ni Coach Ayik, yung anak po ninyo. Anong, <laughs> so, ano yung, <laughs> nagulat si Coach eh. So, ano po yung masasabi niyo na, you know, you're coaching your own daughter on the team? Yeah, um, yun nga, medyo... Mahirap kasi alam mo pag anak mo medyo syempre gaguide mo siya minsan mayroon ano pero maganda naman sa kanya pag kadating naman sa training pagdating sa team kung ano yung per, uh, kung ano yung position niya naandun siya so yun lang yung maganda sa kanya so at the same time yung mga assistant coach ko sila yung pumupukpok para mas mas maintindihan ng anak ko kung ano yung dapat niyang gawin So coach iba yung bad na nakikita namin ngayon parang buo yung team ngayon ano ba yung mga Pinag, ah, paano nyo pinaghandaan? May ginawa ba kayo like team building, bago mag-season? Kasi ano eh, ang, galing, ang ganda ng gel ngayon ng team. Yes, um, nagkaroon kami ng team building. At the same time, every training kasi halos gusto ko yung masaya yung ginagalaw nila. Lagi silang, ando kasi makukulit sila. So doon pa lang nabubuo na sila doon sa kakulitan nila. So 
walang tension dun sa loob ng court. Masaya lang silang naglalaro hanggang sa manalo na lang kami ng manalo. Kaya nga, minsan coach, nakita namin ni Melissa, nagre-relax ng konti kasi nagtatawanan. Pag lumobo na yung lamang, nagiging Maging complacement. Serious, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay coach, congratulations on the win. I'm thank sure you, thank you. marami kang gustong batiin na nanonood. Siyempre, binabati ko yung parents ko sa Marikina. Si Nanay Priscila at si Tatay Clemente. Then, thank you sa mga sumusuporta sa Mapua and community, uh, Mapua community. Ito, sana uh, mapakita namin kung anong meron ng Mapua ngayon. Ayan. So, great start para sa Mapua Lady yes, Cardinals thank you, thank you. ni Coach Aying Esteban. Ngayon naman, punta natin si Stephanie Benito na kasama ang isa sa mga rookies na si Freyan Chanel Garcia. Salamat, Anton. Kasama ko nga ngayon ang rookie outside hitter ng Mapuo Cardinals. Isa sa mga taong nagpakitang gilas para sa araw na ito. Fian, Fian, congratulations para sa victory nyo para sa araw na ito. Siguro ang first question ko lang, kanina kasi nakapanayam ko si Coach Ayinga Seven. E nung sabi niya sa akin, nung tinanong ko siya, Coach, sino sa tingin mo yung mga rookies to watch out for? Ang sabi niya, ikaw daw. How does it feel? Anong pakiramdam mo na isa ka sa mga pinagkakatiwalaan ni Coach Ayinga? I'm super thankful lang ako kasi pagdating ko dito, grabe yung trust na binigay ni coach and especially yung mga teammates ko. Yung patience nila na makakaya ko yung napakita ko ngayon. Curious. Salamat. Thank you for that. I'm um, curious lang siguro ang ating mga NCA fans. Ano ba yung reason sa magandang performance mo para sa araw na ito? Um, siguro nagdepend lang ako sa tiwala na binibigay sa akin nila. And yung best ko na magagawa ko. Oh, Yan lang naman. Yan, natakita nga natin ay pinakita ni Fian yung 100% best niya. Um, pre, uh, before this game, pa, before the start of this game, paano ka naghanda individually at paano naghanda ang team para matalo ang um, San Sebastian Lady Sex? Um, yung sabay-sabay namin na breakfast before game, tapos nagpunta muna kami sa church namin sa Mapua, then yun, nag uh, exercise kami before game and nag na, nag pinaghandaan to ayun ay iba din talaga yung nagagawa ng bonding between teams ano nga so uh, ang last question ko sa iyo siguro uh, Fian what more can we expect from Fian Garcia um, coming off of this season siguro i-lesson ko lang yung mga errors ko and gawin ko lang kung ano yung kaya ko yun lang po Ayan, maraming salamat, Fian. Um, Anton and Melissa, baka may katanungan kayo kay Fian. Yeah, actually, Steph, we have a couple. Uh, hi, Frey. First of all, congratulations sa Thank debut game mo dito sa NCA. Tinitignan namin ni Melissa yung file mo dito. 19 years old. Wow. Grabe. Batang-bata, Tubong Lipa City, Batangas. Now, alam natin na ang Batangas ang isa sa mga hotbeds ng Philippine Volleyball. Sino ba yung mga iniidolo mo growing up who are the players that you look up to, lalo na galing ka sa Lipa, Batangas? Uh, I'm a big fan po of Aya Galang, so yun po. Wow! Lasalyano. <laughs> Good answer. Sakto, nandito si Melissa Gohing ngayon. Ay, hello po. Hello. <laughs> hello, po. hello, Frey. Congratulations Thank again. You po. And I just wanna say na ang galing mo. Like, as a rookie, ito yung question ko, as a rookie, and your first ever na NCAA game, ano ba yung mentality mo? And you look so confident during your first ever NCAA game. Actually po, super, lagi akong kabado. Hindi ko din po alam kung paano ako nakompose yung sarili ko ngayon. And sobrang gaan lang po nung feeling. And super excited talaga ako sa first game namin ngayon sa Season 99. Okay, lastly, Freya, kasi last year, unang umabot sa Final Four ang Mapua Lady Cardinals. First time in history. Ngayon, ang tinatarget nyo ni na Coach Aying is podium finish. So, how confident are you bilang na yung mga ate mo, sina Roxy, sina Trixie, with this team, sina Aliana, kaya nyo ba kaya na mag-podium finish or who knows, maybe even play for the finals, in the finals? Kakayaan naman po namin if we just do our best every game, every training, Mapapakita naman po yun eh, malalabas namin pag game. Especially yung communication namin, yun talaga yung pinaka-importante. Yun po. Congratulations again, Frey. And you know, it's time for you to rest with your teammates. <laughs> well and deserved. good luck 
sa mga next games ninyo. And alam ko na mahaba-haba pa itong season, kaya kailangan nyo na magpahinga. Congratulations again, oh, Frey. Thank you po. Ayan, thank you, Anton and Melissa. So at this point, Frey, baka meron kang gustong batian. Um, Mapua community, your fans, go ahead. Uh, hello po sa Mapua community, especially yung family ko po na sumusport na even yung lolo ko sa lipa. And yung dog ko, si Felky. Hi. Yun lang po. Thank you. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat again, Frey. Congratulations again. Balik sa inyo, Anton and Melissa. I'm really happy with how you know the influx of talent continues here in the NCAA. And for a volleyball program like Mapua, who wants to take it to the next level, we're so happy to see these new players come in and contribute. And it's so nice to see a team improving. Like six years, pala, six, six season, yeah. ito ni Coach Aying. And nigita mo ang laki ng pinagbago ng Mapua University. And grabe din ang recruitment ngayon. Very, alam natin, very competitive. Pero ang galing, you know, Coach Aying has an eye for great players. And ito mga rookies na to, nako, mahaba-haba pa yung yung career nila sa volleyball. And yun ka nakakatawa, tama yung sinabi mo na, ang daming magagaling na rookies because ang daming malulok forward na mga yep. NCAA volleyball fans. Lalo na ngayon, Melissa, na volleyball careers don't just end in college. Yes. Marami pa silang mapupuntahan mm -hmm. sa professional ranks. And when we come back, we will talk to more of these players. When we return, don't go away. This is our coverage of NCAA Season 99 on GTV. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job at congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin! Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos ng... Mga kapuso, nagpapatuloy ang aming post-match coverage dito sa NCAA Season 99. Again, congratulations to the Mapua Lady Cardinals for winning in straight sets against the San Sebastian Lady Stags. Kasama namin ngayon ni Melissa Gohing Nasino. Walang iba kundi si Super Roxy, Roxy de la Cruz, the sophomore of the Mapua Lady Cardinals. Rox, congratulations on the big win. We were so impressed sa pinakita mo. Last year, ang galing mo na eh. Number five ka sa scoring. But this year, parang ang dami mong dinagdag na moves, yung composure mo, pati yung gulang. Nakita yeah. namin, kamusta yung naging off-season at yung preparations mo para sa season 99? Um, para po sa akin, lahat po ng experiences ko from the last season, parang di na ko po siya during the off-season. Tapos, inaral ko po talaga yung mga kulang ko. And hopefully, yung mga naaral ko, na-share na ko naman po sa mga teammates ko. Kaya, nagtulungan lang po kaming manalo ngayong araw na po. Uh, araw na to. So, Rox, as an experienced player na, you had a great run during your rookie year. So, ngayon, ang dami niyong rookies. Garcia, Rica Blanca. So, paano mo sila ginaguide as an ate? Kasi last year, ikaw yung rookie. Kasi may kita namin, ang confident din ng mga rookies niyo. Grabe, grabe din sila mag-provide ng points. So, as an ate, how did you um, guide them? Ito, itong preparation para sa season na ito. Um, siguro, una po namin pinipare sa kanila yung, yung puso nila, yung yung emotion nila during the game kasi parang may mga kaba pa, ganun. And siguro doon namin inuna yung emotional muna. And then susunod naman yun kapag uh, confident na sila. Mag, mag, nandun na lalabas na yung mga pinraknis namin, yung laro nila, kung paano sila maglaro. Ganun po. Roxy, sino yung mga players na linulok forward mong makalaban dito sa Season 99? Kasi para sa akin, nung Season 98, ang dami yung magagaling na rookies. Like, 
siya ay umipo ng perpetual, si Tudlasa ng Arellano, tapos ikaw sa Mapua. A lot of great spikers. And syempre, yung iba mga rookies from Mapua, like Bas Bas, Great Libero, para sa'yo, kanino ka pinaka na-excite? Meron ba mga players na nagcha-challenge sa'yo at gusto mo makalaban dito sa NC? Um, Benilde po and Arellano, tapos perpetual. Okay, sa Benilde, sino yung uh, parang player na nagcha-challenge sa'yo at you know, you want to learn from in terms of being an opponent on the court, meron ba? Uh, si Gail Pascual po. Since lagi po siyang katapat sa harap. Uh, <laughs> parehas pa kayo na number. Number nine. Sa perpetual. Si, ayun po, si Shaila Umipon tapos yung libero po nila. Si Andal. Ah, si Marian Andal. And get, ano, hopefully Marian Andal um, gets better yes. kasi medyo meron siyang iniindang injury ngayon. Mel, Yung marami kang naging teammates, mga high flyers din, is there anybody that reminds you of, of Roxy? Ara, yung Ara. clip niya, tsaka yung ganun, tsaka yung swing niya. Kanina ko pa iniisip eh, para si Ara to. Pero ikaw ba, Roxy? Tinanong ito kay Free kanina, ah. sino ba yung ultimate volleyball idol mo? Uh, si Ea Laura po and si Cici oh. Rondina. Oh. Yes. Kaya grabe. naman pala, grabe ka rin sa Eric, katulad nila. <laughs> okay, may tanong pa kami ni Melissa kasi last year, napansin namin, meron kang fans club. Meron din yung banner na Super Roxy. Hinahanap namin kanina eh. Nasa na ba yung uh, fans club mo, Rox? Um, <laughs> hindi, hindi, sabi mo nila sa Peel Oil, pero po sila ano ah, naman. Ah, so sa, sa next games. Uh, po, oh, okay, sorry. okay. Uh, warm up muna, no? Kasi kakasimula pa lang ng season, eh. <laughs> okay, Roxy, baka meron kang gustong batiin mga supporters mo, family mo, friends na nanunood niya. Um, binabati ko po yung mama ko sa Los Angeles, California. Yung family ko po sa bahay, yung mga kuya ko. Yung mga sumusuport po sa Mapua community. Uh, maraming salamat po sa inyo and uh, hopefully ma mapanalo namin yung bawat games namin. Ay, yung mami mo, nasa LA pa. Oh, Wow. So, siguro nagsistay up siya para panoorin yung mga matches wow. mo. No? Wow. live po. <laughs> wow. Okay. Congratulations. Kay, uh, kay, kay Mami, uh, sana nasa mabuti po kayong kalagayan and uh, thank you for always supporting your wonderful daughter na si Roxy De La Cruz. Si Super Roxy dito sa si NCAA. Rox, congratulations thank on the big po. win. We will see you in the succeeding matches. Ngayon naman, balikan natin si Stephanie Benito who is with another strong rookie dito sa Mapua Lady Cardinals. Thank you so much, Anton. Ngayon naman kasama ko, isa, isa na naman sa mga rookies na nagpakitang gilas ang opposite spiker ng Mapua Cardinals na si Raisa Rica Blanca. Raisa, congratulations again for you uh, so your victory for today. Siguro ang tanong ko lang sa'yo, um, since rookie ka sa Mapua, ano yung mga naging adjustments mo um, sa team coming off of the season? Actually, ano po, uh, hindi naman po masyadong malaki yung nag naging adjustment ko this season po since nag-residency na rin naman po ako with my teammates po. So, bali yung connections po namin is ano na po talaga, na-build na po nung last season po. Ayun, importante nga na yung connection uh, between uh, the teams, between okay. the players as well. Uh, para sa araw na ito, sobrang ganda ng pinakita mong performance. Ang tanong ko lang sa'yo, paano mo naman siya planong i-maintain sa mga susunod pa na laro mo? Siguro po ang dapat lang po gawin is maging consistent lang din po sa trainings and disiplina po lalo na po sa ano sa conditioning po namin kasi sa tingin ko po yun po yung naging big factor para sa win namin ngayon. Ayun tama yan. Um alam ko naman na rookie ka para sa uh, Mapua Cardinals. Tapos parang tayong mga veteran atas na uh, kasama mo ngayon na naglalaro. Alam ko lahat sila magagaling, lahat sila may kanya-kanyang skills. Pero out of all them, sa lahat ng ate mo ngayon sa Mapua Cardinals, who do you look up to at bakit? Ang look up ko po is si Aliana Ong. Kasi po, idol ko po siya sa blocking skills. Kasi every time na ano po, pasok po ako sa court, magkatabi po talaga kaming dalawa. So, Bale po yung blocking skills po na nadadala po ako kasi gusto ko po sabayan lang din po siya. Ayan, Ate Aliana Ong, ikaw ang nilook up to nilang si Raisa. Huling katanungan ko sa'yo, natanong ko to kanina ka, uh, sa una nating interview. Pero ngayon, Raisa, what more can we expect from you? Uh, Mag-expect lang po kayo na hindi lang po i-maintain itong performance ngayon. Uh, Hanggang kaya po i-improve, i-improve po para po sa mga susunod na games and hopefully po para po sa semifinals and sa finals po. 
I mean, expect consistency from Raisa daw. Um, Anton and Melissa, baka may katanungan kayo dito kay Raisa. Ayun, simple lang, uh, Raisa, kasi siyempre bihira yung uh, mga spikers na kaliwete. You're a lefty, you play the opposite position. At nag-usap kami ni Melissa dito, napakahirap pantayan yung ganyang klaseng player. Meron bang ibang mga lefties na pinapanood mo, na pinapattern mo yung laro mo, na iniidolo mo rin? Ang idol ko po talaga po, ever since po, is si Mylene Paat po. Ah, kasi wow. naging ate rin po siya sa akin. Oh, kasi Adamson ka high school, oh, no? Po. So, ano, um, as a rookie, ano yung preparation mo mentally, um, physically, para sa first ever game mo sa NCAA? Uh, disiplina lang din po sa kagaya po kagabi, maaga po natulog. <laughs> And yung sa pagising po kanina ng umaga, kailangan po mentally prepared, kailangan po uh, ng meditation ba, ganun po. Para po sa sa game po na to. And thankful po kasi po nanalo. Okay, so that's it from our end. Stephanie. And thank you, Anton and Melissa. Um, at this point, Raisa, baka may gusto kong batiin, gusto kong pasalamatan. Go ahead. Uh, gusto ko lang po magpasalamat sa Mapua community and gusto ko lang po batiin yung family ko, yung mama ko dito sa Manila and other relatives po dito sa Manila. And of course po yung pamilya ko po sa Kalatagan, Batangas. Hello po sa inyo. And again, congratulations, Raisa. Uh, thank you. And balik sa inyo, Anton and Melissa. Another product from Batangas. Ang dami talagang magagaling na players from Batangas. Grabe. Tama ka talaga. Hotbed for great volleyball players. Ang, bata ang Batangas, Anton. And when we come back, we will put the finishing touches on what has been a great coverage for today in this matchup between Mapua and San Sebastian. Stick around. Don't go away. Keep it right here on GTV. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. We're back with us here on GTV for our post-match coverage of this matchup between Mapua and San Sebastian. The Lady Cardinals are now 1-0 in their quest to advance further in the tournament as last year they made it, finishing in the top four for the first time in their history. Anton Ross together with Melissa Gohing Nasino 
And Mel, you know, we've been doing a lot of congratulating rookies. But I want to personally congratulate you for, you know, coming back here. Thank Volleyball, you. of course, is at your core. It's what you love. Former player, four-time champion as a lady spiker, six-time champion in the professional ranks. How did it feel to come back and rejoin me here and, of course, our other colleagues the panel? You know, it's super nice to cover a game because you see, like, new budding players na ito yung magiging future ng volleyball. Like, we've seen volleyball. For sure, you've seen volleyball na konti lang yung mga nanonood. Naalala ko pa, lalabas ako sa game ko, tila nanonood. <laughs> Tapos yung third year ako, doon na parang, whoa, is this really happening? And now, even sa, sa lahat ng leagues ngayon and in the NCAA, sobrang nagiging competitive na yung teams. Just like Mapua, na first time last year to be in the top four. And that's a huge thing for the, iba kasi kapag college, mm -hmm. school pride talaga eh. I'm just so happy to be here. I missed volleyball from taking a break from ano, motherhood. Yep. And I'm so glad na yung first, uh, first comeback ko is with you, Anton. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> and um, yeah, time flies, ano? I mean, yes. I remember the days I used to cover you and uh, everybody was so impressed at the way you would roll around the floor with sweep. <laughs> as, as a libero yes you were the sweeper you were the one doing all of the dirty work for the famed lady spikers and now you know you have a lot going on being a mom and then of course diba? you're now a sparkle gma artist yes. so i think it's only right na ikaw ay nagbalik dito and now helping us out back in the ncaa as a member of the panel dito sa gma synergy yeah, and, and you know, itong, itong pagbabalik ko, it's also like slowly getting back to volleyball. I can't say no when you ask me <laughs> if, if, if I'm gonna stop playing na ba, I can't say no to that, but my doors are open. Hello! Oi, <laughs> oi! Ayan na po, breaking news, okay? Free agent, free, free agent Melissa Gohing Nasino. All right, before we continue talking about Melissa's upcoming plans, wow. maybe she might give a few details. Silipin muna natin yung statistics. Let's put Melissa's analyst hat back on. Based on the numbers, ano ba ang naging susi para sa Mapua upang manalo laban sa San Sebastian? Now, first of all, it all comes to good defense sa net and good defense sa floor. May ita mo na mas organized talaga yung depensa ng Papua. That's why it converted to 43 attacks compared sa San Sebastian na Coach Roger has been rebinding the girls. Na kailangan nila talaga may good reception, magandang depensa. So they struggled with that. So ngayon, um, that's why naging 28 yung attacks nila compared to the Lady Cardinals na 43. Although sa blocking, there are sets na lumalamang ang Lady Stags and may sets din na lumalamang yung Lady Cardinals. Kaya patas lang sila sa blocking. But when it comes to digging and depensa, nakikita mo naman, 21 yung, dip, yung digs ng Lady Cardinals and hindi pa, wala pa dyan yung reception nila. Ang galing din ang dalawang liberos na yung isa rookie and also um, their veteran libero and they have more aces. Grabe, even their rookie players, grabe yung mga service. Ang bibigat talaga. Kahit ako as a libero, pag nakita ko, alam ko na mabigat itong i-receive. Kaya naman nahirapan ang Lady Stags. And for the unforced errors, marami yung Lady Cardinals but then, they were able to surmount their challenges and yung mga mistakes nila. Nakakabalik sila kaagad compared sa Lady Stag na nangyari nung third set, di ba? Ang laki ng lamang ng Mapua Lady Cardinal sa Lady Stag. So, yun talaga kung sino talaga yung magadang simula at magadang panapos sa game na ito. You know what? I'm sure you're gonna be proud of this. I'm looking at the stats from last season, the team rankings. Mapua was seventh in digging. They were eighth in receiving. Serving, they were pretty good. They were number three in the league. Blocking seventh, spiking sixth. So based on those numbers na aming ipinakita sa inyo, everything yes. went up. Like, everything improved. Yeah, everything like, improved. Like what Coach um, Aying told us, na they really worked on their weaknesses pre-season, kung saan-saan silang liga na, na, suma, na sumali. Ganun talaga, pag, pag nagiging exposed yung mga players mo and you really work on with your, your, your weaknesses. And nakita naman natin sa game na ito, grabe yung improvement. Sobrang batak sa laro. And it just goes to show that Coach Aying had a plan. Kasi normally, when you're a new coach, it's like a three-year program, di ba? Mm -hmm. You're trying to win the championship in three years. The fact that he's been here for six years, ito na yung kanyang ika-anim na season, there is trust, and he was given a chance to build this team. 
recruit players, and then form them into the strongest unit ever yes. in Mapua women's volleyball history. So hats off to Coach Ai. Yes, and for sure our volleyball fans and dami expectation ngayon sa Mapua Lady Cardinals. Pero no pressure girls, just keep on playing your game, stick to the system like what Coach Ai said. And grabe talaga, ang galing. Nakakatuwa din yung mga rookies natin, mm -hmm. di ba? For the Mapua Lady Cardinals. Grabe, parang hindi sila rookie talaga maglaro. <laughs> Yun yung sinasabi ko palagi kay Anton pag nag-off cam kami. <laughs> okay, speaking of rookies, Melissa, you are kind of a rookie also. I know a lot has gone on in your life, di ba? It's, uh, it's something I can only imagine now. You're, you're a new parent. But going back to being a rookie, you're a new member of the Sparkle GMA yes. Artist Program, right? So, like, what are some of the plans that you see yourself taking part in? Like, what do you want to do? Of course, your husband, Rocco, great job to him. I watched him as Elias in Maria Clara and Ibarra. So, shout out to, to shout Rocco. Shout out to my husband. <laughs> my supported, supportive husband. Ayan. So, para naman sa yo, what are uh, some of the plans that um, GMA Sparkle or you have in store for all of the all of your fans who are continuing to support you and watch you throughout the years. Anton, nobody <laughs> I mean not everybody knows about this, but I oh. took mass media, okay. mass com in college. Yon. So gusto ko talaga maging reporter, maging host. Mm -hmm. This is really what I wanted. But then luckily lang talaga, I was grateful na when I finished college, merong pro league. Yon. So nagkaroon ng it opened doors for me. But on the side din, 'di ba? Mm. Naggaganito din ako. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Chaka yung pro na yon, it was still pretty new, eh? Yes. Ba? So you were also kind of lucky na when you graduated, nandun na siya. Yes. I was, ano, first blood kami. Yon. <laughs> OGs, as uh, Melissa was explaining earlier. All right. So tomorrow, our airing schedule for women's volleyball in the NCAA. And the Yunglaba na ating mapapanood, San Sebastian, once again, will be in action against, oh, this is another strong team, Ming Ming. Puzon, our reigning two-time best setter in the NCAA and the LPU Pirates who made history last season by making it to the finals for the very first time. So, Melissa, bago tayo magpaalam, final thoughts, final words para sa lahat ng ating mga manonood? To all NCAA volleyball fans, just keep on watching, keep on cheering for your idol fans. And ako, manood kayo ng live. Kasi ibang-iba, di ba? Yep. Pag manood yes. ka ng live. And sana nag-enjoy kayo sa game na ito dahil kami nag-enjoy. Super. Looking forward to this season. And we're just getting started. Yes. So, Melissa, once again, thank you so much for coming back. Welcome back. And a lot more things to look forward to, mga kapuso, dito sa NCAA Season 99 as we continue to present to you our new heroes of the game. So, in behalf of the entire team, the GMA Synergy team, my partner, Melissa Gohing Nasino, of course, our courtside reporter, Stephanie Benito, our director, Elmon Salvahan, and all of us, from GMA Synergy. Ako po si Anton Rojas nagsasabing maraming maraming salamat sa inyong panonood and we'll see you all again next time sa pagpapatuloy ng NCAA Season 99 New Heroes of the Game.